pretty soon I will be on a flight to Johannesburg. If all goes well, of course. It takes 17 hours roughly to get from the U.S. to Johannesburg. I even have some time on the airlines before that. I get to stop in Chicago and then to Washington, D.C. I start in Minneapolis. For those of you who are curious of where I begin. So how am I going to occupy myself during all of those time on the flight? Hopefully sleeping, of course, will be a chunk of it. Also, just sitting and relaxing will be nice, too. I have spent a lot of time these days on my way home from work doing rebates for overtime for my job. We have rebates we approve. I did those on my way home from work. So pretty much every moment I was traveling in these last days, I was doing work. So it's nice just to chill. I do have some reading matter that I plan to bring along and it is a good variety. I printed out a very interesting document. 44 pages. The United States Court of Appeals for the Fourth Circuit. It is Albert Schneider, Plaintiff Appellee versus Fred Phelps Sr., Westboro Baptist Church Incorporated, Rebecca Phelps Davis, and Shirley Phelps Roper, Defendants Appellants. And John Doe, John Doe Jr., Defendants. You can't beat court decisions about funeral picketing. I just went to the mall, Maplewood Mall that is, on Black Friday. And it wasn't the end of the world. I was dreading it. I was there and I decided, even though it's quite the day to go there, I was going to go there anyways. It didn't take all that much time. I got two interesting books at Barnes & Noble. One of which is a spiritual book. The Secrets of Attraction. The Universal Laws of Love, Sex, and Romance. I'm interested in the spiritual law of attraction in general. Wayne Dyer and other people talk about that. I'm certainly interested in how it applies to romantic things. And I was in a mood for a liberal bashing book. I considered Ann Coulter. But Ann Coulter is really, really harsh, as everyone knows. So I decided to get someone hard-hitting still, but not quite as harsh as Ann Coulter. I got the book. Crazies to the left of me, wimps to the right. How one side lost its mind and the other side lost its nerve. By Bernard Goldberg. I read Bernard Goldberg's book, a hundred people who are screwing up America, and I really enjoyed it. When I was in social work class, we took this test of whether you're liberal, conservative, or radical. I was radical and conservative, no liberal. And my professor of the class found it so interesting how I was a mix of radical and conservative. Who knows who I will see on the bus? Last time when I went to Johannesburg, I sat next to this fundamentalist woman who was going to Zambia. Fortunately, she didn't preach to me. Fortunately, I gave off the vibe somehow that caused her to stop. But if I'm sitting next to nobody interesting, I got some great reading matter.